During this video, you will learn how to create assessments in School City by creating items in the item bank. Ensure that you have your material or items that you will be adding to the item bank in School City. I have selected a reading passage or poem for this week's assessment pulled off the lesson plans provided by the district. I also have the answer key for the assessment with the TEKS listed for easy input into School City. It's easier to do this with a digital copy which will allow you to either screenshot or copy and paste it over. Once you have your assessment ready, you can move on to step two. When you reach your launch pad in School City, you can access assessments through either the waffle or the flip card for assessments. I'm going to access through the assessment card flip card. I'm going to select create assessments. If you use the answer key only, you will only be able to upload the document. You will not be able to input questions as the students see them when they're taking common assessments. So we will need to select item bank. Once you're in the item bank to create an assessment, you will need to insert a name. So I'm going to enter our assessment title. I will save. Once you have saved the title of the assessment, now you're ready to create items. Step three, creating item in the item bank. You will click on the create button. It'll give you items or passages. It is easier to create the passage first and then the questions. So once I'm in here, I will need to go ahead and put the title. Once again, for the passage. Since this is a single item assessment, the title for the assessment is the same as the passage. If you're doing multiple passages in your test, title will be different than the actual passages. If you happen to have the Lexile level for the item, you can also enter that. This is grade three. Now this is where I'm allowed to put in the actual passage. So there's two ways you can do this. Since this particular item does not have any photos that go with it, I'm going to see if it goes, if it will paste in just as nicely if I copy and paste it. If you happen to have a PDF, then you may have to screenshot it. If this does not come out nicely, I will end up screenshotting it. So I'm going to look over it. It actually does not look too bad when I paste it in. It may ask you to control to command V or control V depending if you're using a Dell to paste in your item and since this looks okay I'm not going to screenshot it but if you have a lot of photos you can screenshot pieces of your passage and paste it in. It works just as well. So once this is done there's nothing else that I need to do to it. I don't have the Lexile, that's okay though. You can also use, you can put it in your school workspace if you're sharing with counterpartners that you teach with, 
or your personal workspace. But if you are sharing, I suggest you put it in your school workspace so other people can access it. I'm going to go ahead and save. Push next. So now you can see a view of what it'll look like when students access it. I'm going to go ahead and publish and exit. I do want to publish this. Anything that is not published will not show up for you to select as a part of an assessment. So you do have to publish the items. So now I'm back to the very first page that we started at when we were creating this assessment. Step four. Creating questions as items in School City. Once you have your passage created, now you can create the questions to go with it. We, will, we are back on the main page that we were after we created the passage. So we'll go over here. Instead of selecting passage, you will create items. Once again, if you are sharing this you can put it in your school workspace opposed to your workspace, but I'm going to select my workspace for this project. So one note is that it does save these numbers, so you cannot regenerate the numbers. You can't use number one over and over again, so you do have to title them slightly different. So one thing I've noticed, if I title it with the passage name in it, it won't be reused. So this is going to be... El viento vaquero. And I am going to put number one. And then one thing I've started to do is go ahead and put the teak in 3.9b. So I'm going to go down, select multiple choice, subject. ELA, third grade. I do not need to select a particular group that this is going to. So one reason I stated that it was best to go ahead and create the passage first is because now you can link this passage to this particular question that you're creating, which makes it a lot easier when you get to the end and creating the final assessment. I'm going to push select. Here is where we're going to input the question. This works really nicely if you are able to just cut and paste them over. If not, you will be typing them over. Command C, if you're using a Mac, I believe it's Control C if it's on a Dell. So now that I have the question in, I can proceed down to the options to paste them in. You are more than welcome to retype if you choose to get these in. Now that you have all of your options in, for this question. You do need to select the correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and look back at my DOL answer number one. The answer was B. So I'll go over here and select B. You can press save or just go next. I've gotten the habit of pushing save but you don't necessarily have to. This is a Spanish teak. Well, it's the teak, but it's for a Spanish assessment, so I'm going to go ahead and put ESLA. Third grade, it was 3.9B, so I'm going to scroll down to 3.9B. Explain rhyme schemes, sound devices, and structural elements such as stanzas and a variety of poems. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now that I'm here, this is what will be added to my question at my discretion. So I'm going to scroll down to items that I know the students get to see on common assessments anyways. Answer eliminator is one of them. Highlighter. 
a line reader. I also put dictionary on there. Now, if you have particular students in your class that are going to get reading accommodations for MTSS, one thing that I've noticed with certain grade levels, it's easier to attach it on there, but only instruct the students that have that accommodation to use it. And we'll see that once the test is all created. There are many other ones that you can apply. I try to stay to the ones that I know they'll have for their common assessment just for regularity, with the exception of the text-to-speech. So here we go. I feel like I missed something, so I'm going to go back. Oh, no, I did attach the. I feel like I missed the passage, but I did attach it. So now that this is all complete, I'm going to go ahead and publish and exit. I do want it in my workspace. And now I'm back here. I will do this for the next four questions, and then I'll proceed with the following step. Step five. Finalizing your assessment using the items you have created in School City. I will search for the item I created. It has my passage and five items, so I'm going to go through here. Each question that I attach this passage to will pop up, so I'll just go through there and ensure that I have all five of them. I don't need to select them since they're already selected. That's the ease of attaching the passage to it. If you do it the other way, you'll be searching for the items. So now you can look at the standards being tested, the questions, your answer key. If there's any adjustments that you need to make, you may do that at this time. So this is where you need to add the performance level. I'm going to go ahead and load one that's already available. So load from available templates. This is a really cool feature that I enjoy for School City. They've already uploaded the star bands for us. So if you just scroll down, this is going to be a third grade. Um, so here's the District 3 star reading. You can select these. Um, they have all of them in here, so let me go back up. But this, since this is a third grade Spanish assessment, I'm going to go ahead and select this template. So now your bands are already set to track your students on your data trackers in, a, in conjunction with the star band. You can adjust the window as needed. I'm not going to change it just so that my teachers have the flexibility. Although this is a weekly assessment, I could put it for this week, but I'm not going to change that. And I'm going to go ahead and publish it. No, don't need to go any further. Now it's listed in my assessments. If you want to see it, you just scroll across and select the online admin. And to get viewing, just click on the link provided. So here is the passage, our poem. And then the five questions that are presented to the right as when the students take their common assessment. You will notice the features that we added are available right here. These are ones that they will see commonly with the district assessments. And this is speak text to speech, which is used as I stated before, if you have students with MTSS accommodations that you can start training them to use this as well if they're going to have that feature for common assessment. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.